Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. House Republican Whip Steve Scalise will play baseball against the Democrats tonight, exactly one year after he was shot during a practice game and almost died. Nancy Cordes reports from Washington. Like riding a bicycle. At 52, Steve Scalise is relearning how to play. Go ahead, Whip. Please. All right, KB. The same way he relearned how to walk. There you go. What still gives you the most trouble? Uh, my limited mobility. Uh, I can't move the way I used to. It's better than it was a few weeks ago, but uh, you know, if the ball's a few feet away from me, it's not, uh, not as easy to get to. For his teammates, the fact that Scalise can play at all is a miracle. It is so good to see him out here. The House's number three Republican has endured more than nine surgeries to repair internal organs and install steel plates. After an Illinois man opened fire on the GOP team at an early morning practice, a single bullet tore through Scalise's hip, shattered his femur, and ripped open blood vessels. Then his security detail brought the gunman down. I think the lowest point was the first time I saw my kids. You know, it was it was tough for them to absorb something like this. You know, to know that your dad was shot, somebody tried to tried to kill me, and uh, you know, to comprehend that. For a, at the time, a 10 and an 8 year old, and that's that's really tough. How's he looking out there? To be honest. Looks great. Actually, he's better than he was before. So <laughs> <laughs> he's got the same range, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Scalise takes the field tonight, his children will be cheering him on from home. He says it's still too emotional for them to see him out there on the baseball field in person. Uh, by the way, without Scalise, the Republicans took a pretty serious drubbing in last year's game. They lost to the Democrats 11 to 2. So there are some scores to settle tonight. Nancy Cordes, CBS News at Nationals Park. And now here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with your forecast. We've got a ridge of high pressure in charge and it's keeping us nice and dry today and sunny. As that high pressure ridge marches eastward, you see that red line there with the half circles on it? That's a warm front. That's pushing in warm air first into tomorrow, but then hot air as it's firmly to the east of us. We're talking about incredible heat coming in just in time for the Father's Day weekend. So if dad's got plans outside golfing or hiking, anything like that, you're going to need to definitely bring a water bottle because while today is beautiful, it will be dangerously hot this weekend. Today we're going for a high of 83, mostly sunny and summer like overnight tonight. We'll drop down into the 60s, staying fairly mild through the overnight. Do have an isolated chance of a few scattered showers or storms out there and then into the day tomorrow. We're getting a little bit hotter. We're getting up to about 88 degrees. Humidity may start to inch up a touch and we certainly have a touch with our southerly winds and that's going to help bring in the warmer air on Friday. But look at the weekend 95 degrees on Saturday, 96 degrees on Sunday and 93 on Monday.